Despite the White House's politically motivated propaganda that claims our economy in, is in a transition with 0% inflation, the reality is we are facing an economic recession and continue to battle 40-year high inflation. So as millions of Americans struggle to buy groceries, fill up their gas tanks, afford rent, and pay utility bills, Democrats are ramming through their tax and spend bill that will only make life worse. Now I know the left can't quite grasp the basics of high school biology, but it appears that they also need a lesson on the fundamentals of economics and basic math. But I don't think they're interested in a much needed schooling because their actions are intentional. Time and time again, the left proves their priorities lie with big government socialism, not the American people. And through increased IRS audits, they're willing to demolish any small business, worker, or family that gets in their way. I urge all my colleagues to reject fueling inflation and reject tax hikes during a recession by voting no on Democrats' Build Back Broke bill. One of the most egregious provisions in this socialist spending bill includes providing $80 billion to the IRS for hiring 87,000 new agents to audit hardworking Americans. After my small business was wrongfully targeted by the IRS back in 2013, I know a thing or two about how burdensome and costly battles with the IRS can be. And I'll tell you, it's a grueling fight that most Americans simply cannot endure. This is precisely why I introduced an amendment to eliminate the IRS enforcement provision in this severely misguided legislation. But the Democrats rejected it, confirming their intent to supercharge the IRS audits in order to pay for their big government socialist agenda. This week has also proven just how corrupt our federal agencies are and the length they're willing to go to persecute political opponents. Think about it. If the left will weaponize the FBI to raid President Trump's personal residence, they will surely weaponize the IRS's new 87,000 agents, many of whom will be trained in the use of deadly force to go after any American citizen. I urge my colleagues to vote no on supersizing and weaponizing the IRS against the American people.